Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Liliana Maro here in another edition of Learning to Sleep and today I got a, a topic um, in regards of the seven month sleep deck regression. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't um, have my Instagram working for a video session, but anyway, we will be able to, to see it here in, for Facebook. Um, yeah. What I, um, I commonly hear the mothers talking about the, the sleep regression and usually I've been contacted by mothers of a nine month old babies. Um, this is because they've been, um, they start having trouble uh, with the sleep when the baby or so the child turns seven months old and then they wait because they think it's just a stage, it's just going to pass and then they already been two months into it and they are, they are feeling really tired and they decide it's something to do. Many, many, I will say around the 40% of my clients are nine months old babies with, um, with problems that began at seven months. Um, so of course, some of those um, babies never sleep through the night some have been very good sleepers so i have a little bit of a mix on that there is no um always a, one a scenario that develops all around no that is is we all different babies are all different everything um happens differently um i hope you had a wonderful halloween um this week you enjoy the time with your children if you celebrate if not doesn't matter Anyway, I do celebrate, we celebrate in Mexico the Day of the Dead and I'm very passionate about it, I love it and it's a big uh, week for us, that's why I'm still in the, in the environment and the season pretty much. Um, also, we have a, a competition for the Spanish speaking um, audience, uh, if you wa want to share what you have done when you are half asleep and you are like a mombi or zombie. You can share your phrase and we will be happy to pick the winner. It's a phone call with me, a video call for uh, 45 to 60 minutes to solve your sleep problems. Okay, let's go, let's focus to the topic, the seven months regression. Why this happens, what seven months, um, where this comes from. Okay, um, the children that have never slept properly, uh, and they are now seven months, they are not going through any sleep regressions. Obviously, the sleep regression uh, is not happening because they, there is no, no way, no point for, our, for re regression, okay? It's never been a good sleeper, it's not happening, it's still the same. This is uh, one classification. Then we have the ones that be, were very good sleepers when newborn, but then around three or four months, they start going pear shape, now it's seven, there is no sleep regression there either. Um, maybe they have um, some situations when they were three months, but this is different. What happened with the babies that have sleep very well since newborn and now they're turning seven months and this is the seven month and sleep start getting affected somehow. Mothers don't understand and that's why they say oh, it's going through a phase to a sleep regression. That's why so many of us don't do anything because they, we classify and we see and we hear that at seven months is a sleep regression. Um, yes, um, this is a phenomenon that happened, and, but and if you want to call it a sleep regression, that's fine. However, it's always, we always need to be aware that this is a stage, the develop, de developmental stage that the children achieve by seven months. They start changing, they start winning new abilities. Uh, very common is that they the babies start sitting, or some start uh, pulling up themselves and crawling. Uh, of course, they are different um, in different, um, happens differently to all, but this is the most common situations. Um, some start already trying to pull themselves up and trying to stand up on themselves. And this is, this is exactly what's happening. Um, when these seven months, all these changes start affecting. Um, Another one that um, we, we talk a lot about is um, the children start having more teeth or this is when it start happening. Uh, we cannot, we cannot um, attribute the sleep regression to the teeth. However, all these factors can be an addition for um, awakings through the night. Okay, awakings through the night. Uh, so 
uh, what happened okay if you ch a baby is just turning seven months and you start is is one week two weeks into it and then you start seeing that he's sleeping worse or he start calling you more he start being more demanding is 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 bad enough because they need more more food obviously their organism is like a big um a big uh change and they this is when the bee um the grow sprout, sprout happens as well sport happens and then a uh, they the children start trying to find more sources to 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 have energy of course and also to to develop those new abilities like walking like crawling like um uh trying to sit and start more interactive being more interactive with with the with the other family or the other members of the family even if each of the father they start smiling more doing more interaction being awake more and that's one one of the key points okay uh, to to um, if you are going through this phase and you are just a few weeks into it into the seven months i'm going to uh, ask you to be really careful and trying to be very religious on the naps and the sleep of your child because it's very common that at this stage the naps start not happening they want to be awake more, more time and we start saying oh it doesn't really matter be aware how many naps your children need to have um, that you preserve the times that you are giving enough time of um, of awareness of activity and play and they also you are um, going to um, just give me one second please Zelda, Zelda. Um, okay, thank you very much. I just had my children at the back screaming. I just told them to be really, really quiet. Okay, so um, you, the, this is um, uh, one stage in where it's going to start happening. So I, I will ask you to be very, very um, diligent with your routine. Have a routine. Know, be very aware how many naps, how long the naps need to be preserve the sleep, be at home, try to be careful at this time because if the things are going well and you want to keep them that way, this is the time that you need to be very, very careful. Um, believe me, it doesn't take too long, it takes a few weeks. If you start seeing that your children is, or your child sorry, is more awake, uh, more awake, more alert and then start waking up through the night, um, keep an eye on that, okay, keep an eye and focus on your routine, focus on your schedule and what and your activities, okay? Soon you will be able to, once you pass those seven months, um, you can start going back to, to be more sociable, more out and all this stuff. Now, if you uh, have passed those seven months, you are in the month eight and nine, and your children is already waking up too much, you, you consider you already getting sleep deprived, you already have a sleep problem, I will ask you to please um, analyze what you're doing, what change that you start doing, because mostly mostly the, the sleep goes pear shape because the parents start doing something differently. Okay, let's say, this is an example. If you never rocked your children but when they turned seven because they were waking up more, you start feeding them more, that's one. If you they, they wake up through the night and then you were not, um, uh, taking it to your bed, but because you were very tired, you thought it was one or two eyes, uh, one or two times that they were awake, and you decide to bring them to your bed. And then ever since, you start bringing them to the bed, and you don't know how, what to do it. Because, and then, let me tell you, this becomes very difficult because they start getting more aware for any situations. Uh, you start offering some water at night time, and now your child is waking up for water. Um, then another thing that can happen is that. Um, and you you will start rocking when they wake up so when you start doing that is because um same thing you decide that um you needed to do something you start waking um rocking when they were uh, waking up anything anything this is three three things that come to my mind that can can be triggering things that you have done differently now and then also then you you went to a trip and then you start doing something different again. All um, if you are two months, one month into it and you need to fix it, one or get help, professional help that I can offer you, or then try to analyze your situation, try to go back to everything you were doing before and do it again. Um, you you think you're doing exactly the same things, but 
Do you have a period on that um, sleep regression that you didn't do it, that you did something different, that you perhaps um, went somewhere, that some event? Try to analyze your situation, try to think about it, and then get to the root. Um, very easy to create a routine for a seven-month-old. You need it's a very sensitive sensitive time for you and for them because obviously, if you're a first-time mother, you are carrying um, the exhaustion for the seven months. You you don't know what to do. Um, but reach out to people that know. Reach people. Talk to people. Um, I'm not a fan of um, googling answers because. Um, when you Google, Google answers, you can find me, <laughs> and then you can find someone else saying completely the opposite, and then you can find an article that is mixing both, no? and then it's just very difficult. Um, focus, on, or if you decide to follow someone or some, uh, some article or some page that is giving you advice, please focus on that and follow that. Not try, don't try to find the answers you want to hear, because when you try to find the answers that you want to hear, you will find them and then you will be very confused. Follow your instincts. Um, I know our instincts are no, no very good sometimes, like me, um, um, when I was first a mother, I didn't know what to do and I was trying to follow my, myself. I got a few books that really didn't help me in regards of sleep um, until I did more research, more research, and I found someone that I could follow that could offer me the advice and the results that I wanted. So it's always a little bit of um, a bumpy road it can happen, but it's possible um, to find someone. I'm here offering you help. If you are going to this seven months sleep regression and you need someone to help you, you need to speak to someone, you don't know what to do, your routine is pear shaped, you can, uh, you can have a consultation with me. If you're in Brisbane, we can meet in person. If you are overseas, we can talk online. We, you can uh, book a, a phone call. If you want your free assessment, we can book it as well. That's just over the phone, but we can do it, okay? Um, this is um, all I have it for you in the seven month sleep progression. Of course, we can speak more about it, but um, this is a, a little bit of information for you. Thank you so much. I'm Liliana Mara, and see you next week on Learning to Sleep. Bye.